I've got a bowl full of someone's favourite food. Look, some cold chips left over from my supper last night. Apple cores. <whistles> potato peelings. Pieces of carrot. And some old cabbage leaves. What a feast! She'll love it. Come and meet her. This is Blossom. She's a pig. There you are, Blossom. Tuck in. Whoa. She's got long floppy ears, smooth pink skin and a curly tail. She lives on a farm with lots of other pigs. They also have curly tails. Listen. It's the house. There must be a story to tell. Step inside all those who love stories. Look and listen with tales to tell of fun, excitement, magic, adventure. Tears, fears, and laughter. Surprises as well. Step inside. Hello. Hello, Mr. Mopple. Hello, Mr. Mopple. Twinkle, what are you doing? He wants a curly tail, dear, just like the pig. Oh, no, your tail is fine as it is. But it's straight, and I want it curly. Leave it alone, you'll hurt yourself. That's what I keep telling him. Besides, you don't want to look like a pig, dear. You could say he already does, because some pigs have straight tails. Do they, Boris? I didn't know that. Oh, yes. In fact, I've got a story about one. <laughs> Uh, it is somewhere. Oh, uh, yes. Stand back, Mr. Mopal. Thank you, Boris. Will you read it for us, please, Mr. Mopal? Yes, of course. Of course I will, Chloe. Stop fiddling, Twinkle. Come over here and listen to the story. It's called Pig Trouble. Wild Pig and his friends lived in a little wood on the edge of a lonely road. Every day they thought of new games to play. But whenever Wild Pig romped in the mud patch, his friends ran off. They didn't want to make pigs of themselves splashing around in the mud. One day, Wild Pig heard a shrill squeaking echo through the trees. A strange pink animal was lying in the road. He's fallen off that lorry. Yes. Oh, and look. Wild pigs got a straight tail. Oh, yes! Wild pig ran to fetch his friends. It's a fairy, whispered Squirrel. More like a human, suggested Stag. Nonsense, said Fox. It's only a pig. What do you mean, only, snapped Wild pig crossly. Anyway, it doesn't look anything like me. It does, you know, said Fox as he turned to go. Wild Pig was curious. He sneaked up behind the strange animal. Perhaps it did look a little like him after all. Its nose was about right, but it had a ridiculous curly tail. And it was fat and pink and didn't have any hair. What was it doing in Wild Pig's wood? 
he'd better keep his eye on it. How cheeky! The lop-eared stranger was munching wild pig's chestnuts. What does lop-eared mean? Its ears were floppy. They hang down. Now it was chatting with his friends. And now it was sleeping under wild pig's favourite tree. I've had enough, roared wild pig angrily. You can't get away with this in my wood. Get out. Go on, scram. Oh, poor pink pig. He must have been ever so upset. Well, yes, he was, Twinkle, because wild pig was being very unfriendly. The pink pig ran away as fast as it could. Splash! It jumped straight into wild pig's mud patch. Splash! Wild Pig jumped in right behind it. The two pigs wrestled in the mud. Squelch! Squelch! Then they threw mud balls. Splat! Actually, they were having a lot of fun. Wild Pigs found someone to play with him in the mud. Wild Pig, Pink Pig and their friends live in a wood on the edge of a lonely road. Did he let Pink Pig stay then? Yes, and they all became the best of friends. Thank you, Boris. That was a great story. I think I like having a straight tail. I'm very glad to hear it, dear. Next thing you know, he want floppy ears like the pink pig. Oh yes, I wonder what I would look like with floppy ears. No, Twinkle, you look lovely the way you are. <laughs> Besides, dear, if you really want to look like a pig, you'll have to start eating cold chips and cabbage leaves. Uh... Oh, that reminds me. I'd better go and see if Blossom has eaten her food. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, Mr. Goodbye, Mr. Mr. Mopple. Thank you for reading the story. Hello, Blossom. Did you enjoy your meal? Oh, yes, she did. Look, she's finished it all up, every last scrap. I'm taking her back to the farm now. Come on, Blossom. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>